Hey learners, for this part of your assessment, you are going to be creating a project. And we are going to be using a science menu project in order to decide how we want to do that project. And we will look up that we will look at that in just a moment. For this assignment, you can use AI if you would like. So you can use that to engage with your assignments and to enhance them and in to support your creation. Uh, you cannot use it, right? You cannot use the AI um, to, to talk about the evidence, to talk about what you think or what you learned. You should only be using it for helping you create your project if you get stuck and so that it can help you uh, come up with some ideas. Uh, if you're not really sure how to get started, which can happen from time to time, you can go ahead and use the prompt that is on this page in order to start with uh, what you should do. So you can click on this site here. Oh, I guess you can click there to brainstorm some ideas and then you can use this prompt. It says, I would like to create a blank, so a type of project, what would you like to create about rock transformations? I need the information to include about sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, and I also need to include my understanding, right? So your understanding, not the computer, not the internet, not the AI's understanding of the process that rocks go through, like weathering, erosion, melting, and cooling. And then you're going to ask the AI, do you have any ideas of how I can get started? Again, we're in our rock transformations unit and we are looking at some ideas to help us. So when it says what type of project or uh, you are going to be creating, that's where you can use that science project menu. So if you are looking at the science project menu, you will see that there is an opportunity, a maker space. So places where you can look for ideas and activities in which you would make something. Uh, there's also some research based projects. So what would you do if you were looking at uh, doing a little bit more research around rock transformations and then some action projects. So if you want to get your voice out there or think about how you could, uh, how you could, um, spread the word about something that has to do with rock transformation or think about policies that might have to do with that, you could look at some of those action projects. So we'll just take a second to look at a couple of these right now. So for example, you might want to make a model. So when you go into the make a model page, you will see that it has some steps for how you can complete this project. So it says step one, choose your science idea. And we already know what our science idea is, it's rock transformations. So you're done with step one. It says step two, you're gonna brainstorm what you want your model to be. Do you wanna do a physical, do you wanna create a physical model or do you wanna create a digital, digital model? And then there's some ideas about how to do both of these. Um, you're gonna gather your materials and then you're going to build your model and explain it. For each of the activities in each of these projects, you will see similar steps. So again, step one, picks your science starter, rock transformations. Hey, you're gonna brainstorm what kind of message you want. So it's telling you to think about a message that you wanna convey to a community. So things you might consider, what is the impact of this science concept? What is important to people? So you're gonna read through each of these. You're going to complete each of these steps and then you will be able to create that project. Back in Schoology, you will click on the make a copy, which will show up right here. I'm not sure why it's showing. And you will be able to keep track of your thoughts. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that now. So when you click on Science Project Guide, it's going to ask you to make a copy. You can go ahead and make a copy, and then you will see something that looks like this. So you can track your thinking for each of those steps that was provided in that Science Project pathway as you go along. So again, for the first one, your first step is to pick your science, uh, your science star, which is rock transformations. So you will go ahead and write rock transformations. Okay, and then step Whoops, sorry, you'll probably spell it correctly. Uh, you Then you're going to complete step number two. So you're going to think about what uh, brainstorming, what you want to do, or depending on which project you pick, you're going to fill in that information. And then you will create your project. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of projects. 
So this is a project of someone who has created a rock cycle game. So they put the model of the rock cycle together as a game on a poster. Uh, these are some physical models of the rock cycle where they have shown the cross section and shown that how each of these rocks, uh, the processes that these rocks go through. And then there would be some sort of explanation that goes with it. This is a poster explaining the rock cycle and the different processes that go with it. And so those are just a few examples of how you could complete this project. I hope that you enjoy demonstrating everything that you have learned about the rock transformations and the rock cycle. And remember, today is a great day to learn. Happy learning!